To write the name for PB3PO42, we first need to recognize that PB here, lead, is a transition metal, and then PO4, this is an ion, a polyatomic ion. So we have a transition metal, we have a polyatomic ion. We can use these rules here to write the name for PB3PO42. First, we write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. PB, that's lead. Next, we're going to write the name for the polyatomic ion. So you've either memorized that PO4 is the phosphate ion, or if you're allowed, you look it up. So we have PO4, that's the phosphate ion, lowercase p. And so far, we have lead phosphate is the name for PB3PO42. Lead, though, we said that's a transition metal. So we need to figure out the charge and add it to the name here. We know the phosphate ion, the whole thing, is 3 minus. And we have two of them. 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. So we need to get a 6 plus over here so the net charge is 0. 3 times 2 plus, that would give us 6 plus. The charges, they would balance out, give us a net charge of 0. So we want to put a 2, Roman numeral 2 here, in parentheses between lead and phosphate. So the name for PB3PO42 is lead 2 phosphate. And the Roman numeral 2 here, that's this 2 up here. If you're given the name and asked to write the formula for this lead 2 phosphate, you know the lead, each one of these lead atoms, is going to have a 2 plus ionic charge. And then you know your phosphate here, 3 minus. So you can get the charge to balance and you can get the formula. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.